Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Canon EOS M50 as my budget blogging setup. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Canon EOS M50 kit that I have here apart and talk about each piece individually. So now that we have this thing taken apart, let's go ahead and go over all the pieces that I use on this kit and why I use it. First up is the switch pod. This is a $100 tripod slash handle grip. Uh, it's a super, super nice build. Really, really durable. It only weighs about 11 ounces. It's super compact and it actually has the quarter 20 uh, mounting point on top so you can mount your camera or other devices on this little tripod. Next up is the Ballhead X. This is made by Joby. Now this isn't exactly necessary and it's definitely up to your preference if you don't want to use one of these, but I find that it's pretty useful in my setup. One is being that you can loosen this big knob here and you can adjust the ball head itself so that you can rotate it at different angles and even have vertical recording. The next one is you have the secondary knob here, which is the smaller one on the bottom. And this allows you to rotate with a fluid head on a tripod or other device. Like I said, not exactly necessary, but definitely beneficial if you like to have those features. Now, most vlogging cameras that you go to, all of them have their own microphone built in and a speaker. And that brings me up to my next point, which is the Rode Video Micro. This thing is such an amazing microphone. Uh, I've had it for over six years. I've used it indoors, outdoors, uh, activities, uh, long hot days, long cold days, you name it, I've been there with this little microphone. At such a small price of $60, this thing has been amazing and has lasted me for such a long time. Not only that, but the actual quality that comes out of this microphone is pretty amazing. You'll notice here that it has this big fluffy thing on top of it, and this is actually so that you can block the wind when you're recording. By having this little windshield, you're able to record outside and not really hear any wind at all, which is pretty amazing in my opinion. And last but not least, one of the best features about this little microphone is that it does not have a power source. There's no need to turn this thing off and on, which in my experience has saved me a lot of time in post editing and audio correction. I can't tell you how many times I've been out recording with my powered microphones and I've forgotten to turn it on and I got no audio that entire day simply because I didn't have the audio switch on. With this little microphone, you don't have to worry about that and this will save your butt so many times for that exact reason. All right guys, next up is the lens. This is the 10 to 18 millimeter EFS Canon lens. Now, most of you may be wondering why I'm using the EFS instead of the EFM model, and that's simply because this is cheaper and I had this more readily available. If you look online right now, the EFM lens is about $399 and only fits the EFM. If you don't know, I also shoot on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K here, which with an adapter is an EF mount. By having this lens as well as the adapter to my M50, I'm able to share lenses between the two. Many of the benefactors that I will say about this lens is that even though I have many EFM lenses, the autofocus on these lenses seem to work a lot better in many cases. There's been a lot of times where I have the pancake on my M50 or even my EOS M and it's constantly chasing for autofocus and I don't seem to really have that issue with this thing. The dual pixel autofocus seems to work a lot better with this lens for some odd reason. Not only that, the price point of this is $250 compared to $400, so it's definitely a better budget option. It's pretty much the same length as the EFM wide angle lens that comes with the Canon EOS M50. I would definitely recommend this one over that for that exact reason, and if you have multiple cameras such as the 70D or 80D, or even the EOS R, and you also have the M50, you're able to share your lenses, so this is definitely a great option if you're also in that same boat. Now, speaking of adapted lenses with the EFS and EF line, I would definitely recommend picking up an adapter that is suitable for your camera and will give you the most durability and consistency with your lens. You'll notice here that this is a Comlight adapter built for the EFM body to the EFS lens. It also has the autofocus function built in, so your electronic audio focus is transferred over to the lens and you have that autofocus capability whenever you mount your EFS lenses. Now, last but not least, you can't go anywhere without this budget build without going with the Canon EOS M50. 
And the reason why I choose this camera itself to do vlogs is simply because it is super compact and has some of the best features out of all the cameras I've seen and used. The main one being that this camera is able to shoot 120 frames per second, 4K, and it has a fully articulating screen like so. And for vloggers, this is a necessity to have whenever you're recording selfie videos. The Canon EOS M50 also has the dual pixel autofocus in 1080p. It does not have it in 4K, which is, in my opinion, totally fine if you're using wide angle lens. And in most cases, everybody that records on YouTube doesn't really shoot or watch YouTube in 4K. I've been a fan of the Canon M50 for the longest time. Even though I have had hate for Canon for limiting their devices via software and firmware, I do feel that this is still one of the best cameras I've ever owned. And I would highly recommend checking out the Canon EOS M50 for your vlogging videos. If you want to see more content recorded with the Canon EOS M50 and vlogs, definitely check out my vlog life playlist that I have in my channel below. Um, they are somewhat dated, but they are definitely usable and uh, amazing vlogs. I really, really love using this camera just because I feel so safe having this with me at all the time, being so compact. It doesn't feel like I'm carrying a full video rig around with me. And I seem not to be bothered as much carrying this thing around in comparison to my Canon EOS R or the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. All right, guys, that is the Canon EOS M50 budget build that I have for today. All of this is around $1,000. Even though it is a whopping $1,000 in comparison to many other camera combinations, this is relatively one of the cheaper ones that you can find. And in my opinion, it's one of the most worthwhile budget builds you'll find out there. Well, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any comments regarding this build, Feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'll also be putting all the links in the description below. So if you want to check out any of those items, they'll be there for you. As always, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.